If there's anything that I can do for you, I'm here to help you. I've built two seven-figure businesses. I'm a real estate agent, real estate coach, speaker, author, all the above. So anything I could do to help you, that's what I'm here for. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. Hey, what's up everybody? Ricky Kruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I want to give you three tips to cold calling. I know a lot of you are scared of cold calling or think you don't need cold calling in your business and maybe you don't. Maybe your business is the type of business that doesn't need cold calling. Okay, I don't know. There's a lot of digital type businesses out there. There's a lot of things out there that you don't need cold calling. But I'm telling you right now, voice to voice is the reason why technology will not completely replace salespeople in the industry. And if you're in real estate, if you're in insurance sales, car sales, you know, anything like that, you have to talk to people. Talking to people is the name of the game. And a big part of what I do is teaching you how to effectively communicate who you are as a person, that you're there to actually help them, that you care about them, that, that you want to you know, help them with the bigger goals in their life, not just make a sale. And through that, you make more sales, okay? When you can create a situation where they feel like they're part of your extended family, okay, then that's when you've really got something. And I call this FE, friend, family effect. When you're giving them that family effect, when they feel like they're your brother, cousin, mother, best friend from high school, okay? That's the way that you need to approach every prospect that you have. Okay, so next time you're talking to your mom, brother, cousin, best friend from high school, you know, on the phone or in person, I want you to think about what I'm saying. During that conversation, I want you to subconsciously take a mental snapshot of that moment, okay, and, and think about how calm you are, how comfortable they are with you, okay, the tone of your voice, the speed of your voice, everything going on in that moment. And I want you to take a mental snapshot, and I want you to start to emulate that when you're talking to your prospects and whatever business that you have. Okay, I want you to start doing this. I, and it doesn't matter if you have a digital business. At some point, you're gonna have to talk to people. Okay, and you need to give them the feeling that they're a part of your family, because they are. Okay, they are an extended part of your family. Before we get into these three cold calling tips, do me a favor and click that like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. I'm putting out the very best content for real estate people, sales people, investors, anything I can think of that I can do to bring you value, I'm doing it. I also answer every single message, every single comment, every single Instagram direct message. If there's anything that I can do for you, I'm here to help you. I've built two seven-figure businesses. I'm a real estate agent, real estate coach, speaker, author, all the above. So anything I could do to help you, that's what I'm here for. Now my first tip for cold calling is, is to get over the fear of cold calling because I know that's the biggest part is that you start cold calling, you have all the numbers there, you're ready to dial, and you just can't quite get that finger to hit the button. It's like you freeze right when the right when your finger gets close to hitting dial, you just freeze up. Listen, everybody goes through the same exact feeling, the same exact stage. I don't care who you are. I went through it. Every single person goes through this. It's not out of the norm. This is completely normal. This is part of the process. This is just something that every single person that's going to be successful is going to get through. Okay? So, as far as overcoming the fear, a couple things I want you to think about. Number one, you're doing this, you're calling them to help them, okay? You're calling them to help them. So your intentions are to help them, okay? Stand behind those intentions, okay? That should make you fearless because you're literally there to help them. If they get mad at you, then you should be thinking, what's this person's problem? Why would they get mad at somebody for helping them or wanting to help them. It doesn't make any sense to me. I think the problem is, is that you're assuming the outcome of something that hasn't even happened yet. Okay, as crazy as that sounds, you are automatically assuming of how each call is gonna go and you're thinking it's gonna be a negative result when you don't even know, it hasn't even happened yet. Most of the calls you make are gonna be a positive result. Okay, they may not be interested in what you're offering, but they're gonna be polite, okay? They're not gonna be mean. Yeah, some people will get mad, some people will hang up, that's part of it, but that's a small percentage of the people you're gonna call. A majority of the people you're gonna call are gonna be happy to hear from you, and regardless of if they're interested in what you're offering or not, they're gonna be polite, they're gonna be nice to you, okay? And then, a certain percentage of people are actually going to want whatever you're offering, and you're gonna actually create business out of this. 
Okay, what's so crazy is that I've seen so many people and I've helped so many people start to make cold calls and they, they start out just absolutely against it, scared of it, never gonna do it, then they start doing it a little bit, then before you know it, they're um, completely addicted to it. That you can't, I can't get them off the phone now. Right, they're just addicted to talking to people, communicating with people, getting better and better and better as they go along, and it just creates so much business. When you talk to people and they can hear your voice, they feel so much more connected to you than a postcard, an email, a social media. They feel so much more connected to you when they hear how you react to their asking questions and you know just the general conversation. They just start to feel so much more comfortable. So. This is huge. This is the number one way to communicate with people and to create business in terms of, and remember what I always say, there's stages to cold calling, there's stages to success. Everything is stages. And the top producers, the people that really become highly successful, they know this and they move from stage to stage. They don't let anything get in their way. They just say, okay, I'm gonna bust through this stage, go to the next stage, next stage, next stage, until they just get to the top. And then they keep going. Once they get to the top, they just keep going. And they find more levels somehow, okay? But it's all stages. So the first stage is that you're scared. The next stage is you do it and you realize it's not as bad as I thought, right? And you, you do it more. And then you realize, oh, I, I can do this. Okay, then you start to realize what you need to say. So you start saying, you know, using scripts and you know what to say. Then you go to, okay, now I know what to say, but I'm not getting quite the reaction, so I need to figure out how to say it. Okay, then you start changing your tone, the speed of voice, you start tweaking what you're saying, tweaking a little word here and there. Next thing you know, you're at the next stage, which is learning how to read people on the phone. Now you're having real conversations and you're going back and forth. You're actually listening to them. Okay, you're asking questions and you're listening to the feedback, you're listening to the answer and you're using that to help them, right? And to, to build your business and to build your brand. The second tip for cold calling is to have a really good script. Okay, so my script is, my, my magic line is, is what in the world can I do to help you? Okay, this works across the board, why? Because relationships are universal across all industries, across all countries, across all worlds. All right, relationships. People just want to know that the person on the other end cares about them, genuinely cares about them, wants the best for them, is trying to help them. Okay, so that's what it's all about, is you want to help people feel comfortable with you. Your number one job is to make people feel comfortable with you. How do we do that? The first way we do that is by being comfortable with them. If you're comfortable with them, they're going to be comfortable with you. Okay, if you're scared, if you're, if you're timid, if, if you're nervous, then they're gonna be scared, timid, and nervous. Okay, so you have to be comfortable in these situations and they're gonna feel comfortable. If you're comfortable, they're gonna say, yeah, this must be a comfortable situation. The second way you make them feel comfortable is by not trying to sell them too fast. See, this is the mistake most salespeople and cold callers make is they call, they say, how are you doing? And they immediately just try to sell, 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 sell. If they hear no, they try to handle objections. This is the wrong strategy in my opinion. Okay, and just keep in mind, I'm just telling you what I think, okay, the way I believe that business should be built. It's not, I'm not saying it's right or wrong, I'm just giving you my opinion. Okay, letting you see a different side of this. Okay, and I think this is really the future of sales, not necessarily just for cold calling, just the way that we communicate. Okay, you could be DMing people, you could use my scripts to DM people, email, Okay, it could be on postcards. I don't care how you're communicating. The fact is, is that we want them to feel comfortable. We don't want to sell them too soon. We want them to feel like they're part of our extended family. Okay, now we're building a business of people who know that we're here for them. When you build a business like that and they know you care about them, they're gonna come back time after time after time again. That's when you have a real business. Repeat business, referrals from that repeat business, and referrals of referrals. So you need a good script. I don't care what industry you're in. You know, there's a lot of real estate agents that follow this channel. So I'm in real estate, so I have a real estate script, but this script could be used across the board. Okay, so let's go through it real quickly. Hey, Mr. and Mrs. So-and-so, this is Ricky Carruth down at whatever your company is. Ricky Carruth at Remax of Orange Beach. Ricky Carruth at the Ford dealership, whatever. How are you doing today? So this is Ricky Crew at the Remix of Orange Beach. How are you doing today? I'm doing good too. I'm just enjoying the day. Isn't it gorgeous? So I'm gonna say something about the weather to throw them off. I'm not trying to sell them too soon. I'm just trying to see how they're doing. Get a feel for what's going on. Now a lot of people say, that doesn't work, Ricky. You're talking about the weather. They want you to get to the point, da da da. 
No, that actually loosens them up because a lot of people are tight. And if you will use that weather part as a non salesy way to loosen them up a little bit in the conversation, you can transition. We'll transition quickly in a minute. I'll show you. We'll transition. But we want to get them feeling a little comfortable first. Okay, so we're going to say something about the weather, or it could be, hey, what about that Super Bowl? What about, you know, you getting ready for New Year's? How was your Christmas? There's so many things right there. But we want it to be short, sweet, and a question to let them respond. Now, they may re respond with something very pleasant. They may talk a long time about the weather with you. I've gotten to so many long weather conversations. Um, they may go there with it, or they may be very short. Yeah, yeah, me too. What, what's going on? What, what can I do for you? Kind of thing. Either way it goes, when you get to that point in the call, we're gonna, this is our first transition. We're gonna say, I got you. Well, look, I don't wanna take up too much of your time, but that's the transition. I got you. Look, I don't wanna take up too much of your time, but that is the transition where when we get to the awkward point in the call, because even if you have a pleasant call, it's gonna come to an end and they're just awkward. Or if they're just really quick and say, what can I do for you? Yeah, the weather's great, what can I do for you? There's awkward, right? So right there, really quickly, we have to stick it really fast and make it feel comfortable. We're gonna say, I got you. Well, look, I don't wanna take up too much of your time, but then we're gonna go into what we're calling about, okay? How are you doing? Weather, we're loosening them up. Hey. I got you. Well, look, I don't want to take up too much time, but now we're going to get into the reason of our call. The reason of our call is if you're in real estate, it's like, hey, a house around the corner just sold. Didn't know if there's anything in the world I could do for you. If we're calling about, you know, car, if we're in the car dealership business, hey, we just got some new cars on the lot. Didn't know if there's anything in the world I could do for you. Okay, it could be anything. Insurance, it's like, hey, we're down here, we've sold you know, X amount of policies this month, didn't know if there's anything we could do for you. Or we just got some new product in, didn't know if there's anything in the world we could do for you. Okay, it's gonna be a statement about whatever market you're in, whatever industry, whatever's going on, and then didn't know if there's anything in the world I could do for you. So we're not selling them. We're telling them something, we're respecting their time, telling them something about our industry, asking if there's anything we can do for them. Right, and so it just opens up the conversation. Now we can find out what's going on, we can talk to them, we're not trying to sell them, they feel comfortable, we're having a conversation, we're going back and forth, this is real. Okay, this is a real situation that is gonna yield real business, okay? This is not a salesy, snake oil salesman type script. This is the I care about you and I want to help you short and long term. What can I do for you? I'm ready to go to work for you. That's what, that's what this script is. So at that point, they may have something in mind. They may be interested in what you're doing. They may not. Either way it goes, I got you. You know, if they do, then we're going to follow that down that path and help them and do that deal and sell that product, whatever it is. Find out more about it. Just keep in mind, we always want to find out why people want to do things. When we find out why people want to do things, then we can truly help them. So ask the questions, why? Why are you doing this? Why are you thinking about that? What I can do to help you? Okay, let's do this. Let me create this game plan based on why you want to do it. And then this is what we'll do. And then boom, we'll get the desired result for you. Boom. If they don't, if they're not interested in what you're doing, we want to approach it like, I got you, well, no problem. You know, would you be interested in that in the future? Or is there anybody that you would work with concerning that? If not, I would love the opportunity to stay in touch with you, right? And then we're going to get their contact information. What's a good email address for you? Is this your cell number? And we're going to put them in our email database. We're going to put them in our text database. And we're going to use that information to do consistent original content across those platforms to build brand with these prospects for the rest of their life. And we're gonna do this over and over and over again for thousands and thousands of people. And the third tip for cold calling is literally to have fun with it. You should have fun with this. And I want you to think about it like practice. Like an athlete goes to practice every day, right? A professional athlete, their job is to go to practice every day, practice and train all day every day in the off season, during the season for the game. Okay, well I want you to think about this is that there's no game, okay? We're just practicing from here for the rest of our life. You know, kinda. So I want you to have the same determination as a professional athlete. I want you to wake up early. I want you to get your mind right. I want you to be ready. I want you to go in. I want you to start making your calls and literally think about it as a practice. It doesn't matter if we win or lose. 
Doesn't matter if we, you know, make a bunch of sales that day or not. We're practicing, we're working on our communication skills to learn how to be better the next day, and the next day, and the next day. I want you to get 1% better every single day. And if you do that, your, your skill level is gonna increase, and you're gonna get to a point where you're making so many sales, it's ridiculous and you have no idea how you got where you are at the top of the mountain. And it all comes from making those calls, but also the second part of it is getting that contact information and building that personal brand. So like I said, hit that like button if this video helped you out with your cold calls. Leave me a comment if there's any questions at all whatsoever I can do for you. I'm gonna link some videos below of me making cold calls. And just let me know if there's any kind of videos or any kind of content that you guys want. I'll be glad to make it. I'll see you guys on the next video. Let's go!